Hey everybody, what's going on? Nathan343 here. I'm about to answer a bunch of y'all's questions because you guys have been asking a lot of questions about the Rockville HTS, I believe, theater system. And uh, we're going to tell you, uh, answer some questions. And this is my final thoughts and final review video. It's been since November and I thought it would be nice to give you guys an update. So stay tuned. This video made possible by 343 Studios. Hey everybody, it is the Nathan343 and I have lots of questions coming in about problems you guys are having with the Rockville theater, home theater system that I did a review back and uh, kind of a first look back in November, I do believe it was, or early December. I'd have to go back and look at when that video was uploaded. But if you haven't seen that, you can go here and check it out. Um, also, video quality is going to start improving. We just got a new computer. Uh, it is a gaming computer, and it is going to make things a lot better. There's going to be a small review on that. It won't be a first look. It'll just be kind of a, hey, this is what we got. Um, show you guys all of what we got. So uh, it's over there. It's really pretty. It's got lots of lights on it and lots of fans. And ooh, yeah. So picked it up for a very good price and I'm glad I did. It's got, it came with a screen, keyboard, mouse, uh, the keyboard lights up, the mouse lights up, uh, the tower lights up. It's, it's been taken really good care of. It was used, but uh, it was been taken really good care of. So happy to have it. So anyway, back to this. Uh, again, the speakers um, are very easy to mount. Comes with all the mounting hardware that you needed. Uh, it was very easy to um, Put on the walls you can mount them uh, i did mine long ways if you haven't noticed we have a new tv here and uh, one of the questions that was answered was you guys were having problems when you would turn your theater system on to pick up the sound for your tv it would be static or it would make a bunch of scritchy noises or something like that from your um that one cable thing that goes up what's that thing called the optical cable, that's what it's called. I had a look, but <laughs> anyway, um, so my older TV, let it rest in peace, uh, the motherboard burn up. I've, it's, it's about a 15 year old TV. It was given to me and by the time the brother person had it and I had it, it was about 15 years old. I've had it for probably five and she had it probably 10. Uh, so if she's watching this video, uh, again, that TV has now gone to its final resting place. Uh, it might be getting fixed, but I think the motherboard's burn up in it. Uh, none of the HDMI ports would work. It would come on screen would work just fine. But we now have a 65 inch TV and uh, I'm gonna show you and let you hear how it sounds, uh, what my thoughts of the sounds, the settings, how everything, you know, it, you know, it was very easy to hook up. It's self-explanatory. You have a green wire for your lighting. You have a black wire for the audio. Uh, the wire is a little thin, uh, so if you have cats that like to chew on wires, you might want to try to coat them, because I done had one wire get chewed through and had to fix it, but easy to fix. Hmm. Um, the um, subwoofer has got a lot of bang. It has a lot of bang. It's only an 8-inch subwoofer, but that thing rocks. It will rattle this entire living room with sub you can get thing up to a, a plus 10 holy cow I normally leave it at like a zero or even a negative two and it still thumps <laughs> so <coughs> yeah <I> got <coughs> <coughs> but it uh, it has when it is when you turn it off and you don't actually flip the switch off in the back it has two little dashes that flash on and off just to show you that it's in standby mode so, speaker quality, I haven't had any popping, cracking, you know, distortiveness, haziness, staticness. Sound pretty clear. Uh, the volume on this thing goes really, really loud, as you're going to hear. Um, the lights on the speakers right here, take this one off and kind of show you, maybe. The cable's sitting on the sub, but little, uh, little lights right here only are blue. It would be cool if they could make these to be able to change along with the lights on the subwoofer because the subwoofer lights do change as several different patterns that you can change from different lighting patterns, different lighting colors, all that. 
Uh, but the build of the speaker, very well. Like I said, I only use one, one bracket here. You can actually, it's got holes to mount the other one if you want to mount this sideways, which some people might, you know, want to mount it here and one over there. But I mount them right here on the side. There is a top and there is a bottom on these. If I can get that line back up with my screw. There we go. The bottom uh, here has um, padding on it. Uh, this is actually, I think, supposed to be the one that goes um, down there, maybe, for going sideways. I think it is. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, it's the one that's supposed to be down there, but it's fine. We'll just have to move them around. But the they've got, that uh, kind of shows you which side's supposed to be up, but this one here um, that is supposed to have padding here, and then it'll kind of represent the uh, top and bottom. Uh, the little speakers... Uh, they're little. They do have a pretty good bang for your buck. They do sound really good in the back. They pick up all the little sounds when you're watching like a uh, Dobby Dole featured um, movie. All right, so you come over to my other one here. There is a lot of cable. This is uh, right behind our couch. Um, I have one on that wall and I have one on this wall. Uh, would I would I like to see another backside? Yeah, I think it'd be cool. That way you're not putting both speakers on the back wall. I think it'd be cool if you could have a third one that one over there you know if you're doing a full surround sound you know i think they should come with six speakers i really do so rock rockville you can check that out again it has lighting i'm going to go ahead and cue it up uh it comes on there we go so you see the light came on uh they're i mean decently bright if you put this in your little bedroom or whatever it's going to illuminate some stuff it's bright enough to illuminate um it sounds really good. Like it's a nice hard plastic on the front. Um, very built again. I don't want to take it off. Just, yeah. Cabling is uh, too, it, it wouldn't be nice. If the cable was just a little bit thicker. Maybe had a little bit of coating on it to protect like a better coating to protect it. Um, this again, they have pads on the bottom, which represents you could set this. You don't necessarily have to mount this on a wall. You could set it on. If you had two end tables, you could set it on the end tables. Same thing with your other speakers. None of this has to be mounted. You do not have to mount this to a wall or the ceiling or however you want to do it. I've seen. A sound test here we're going to play. I'll let you guys check it out. And you should be able to hear, hopefully, the different sounds as you hear the subwoofer. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear the sounds coming from different parts of the room. It's where the most advanced cinematic technology you've ever experienced begins. This is Dolby Atmos. The number of speakers around you no longer matters because this is the world's first object-based cinematic audio. I don't know if you guys can hear that sound, but it is going good. It's from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. So yeah, picks up a lot and lot of bass. I'm gonna let you guys get down and hear the subwoofer. Here's how the subwoofer sounds. We've got a couple different styles of test bass that you're gonna hear. up fully on this too. I cranked it up full for this. Alright guys, so the other problem that people have had in the past was, hey, it worked for a little while and then my TV started having problems where when I would turn it on, 
uh, to a TV to hear like news or basketball game and use it for speakers for that. It will be staticky or it will be choppy and it won't pick up. It'll be all really, really staticky, like brrrr, but like a staticky noise or something. Mine did that as well. A couple months later, TV quit. Uh, I talked to a guy um, about that, about the optical port, and he said, most of the time when your TV starts to do that through your optical port, your motherboard's getting ready to go. So, not trying to be the bad news of bear here, but y'all's TVs might be getting ready to go bye-bye. <laughs> but uh, this one is uh, it's really good. You can see me filming there with the camera. But um, so far, so good. I haven't had any problems. I hooked it up directly to the optical port again. Have any problems? If you're having problems with that, maybe try a different TV. See if it does it. If it still does it with a different TV, then there might be something wrong in the head unit down there. Um, you could call uh, Rockville and um, tell them, hey, uh, I'm having problems with this. I'm having problems with that. See if they could give you some troubleshooting there. I'm just a reviewer on here. I'm not saying that I'm a person that knows exactly how to fix everything. I've had a lot of people with the uh, lighting that I have done for the strip lighting uh, say they're having problems with that. I don't know how to fix your problems. Everyone's going to have problems. Some people may not have problems. That's not the product. It could be something that you're doing wrong. The I know that the, you know, things like that happen. So, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So on a scale of one, two, um, five, what do I rate this at? I give it a four and a half. I think it's it's pretty much there. Uh, the sound quality in the uh, it would be cool if they had like an EQ where you could EQ your your speakers. Uh, the back speakers back here we got one there and one there. Um, they um, they pick up, but I think they could pick up a little bit more of the background noise, like a bird chirping or water running or a car going behind you or something like that. You know, like a theater does. This is supposed to be a theater system. Um, that's the only thing a bad bow that I think it could do. I think it'd be nice to have an EQ where you could EQ your treble and your bass through your top speakers. Um, I think the lighting would be cool if they could make that change because see my key cap, but I can change that. Yep, to different different things. It's off. It's on. Um, it's got a moving deal, different colors. It's got an up and down deal that will change colors. It'll flash. So again, I think it could have that feature in it. Um, I know also that for some reason when I control this, it controls my TV. No idea why. But um, I can come out of that and all that stuff. But um, yeah, I think it's it's pretty good. Uh, the Bluetooth, um, I was outside, has really good Bluetooth range. Um, picked up outside my phone, I was able to play music outside. Um, the stereo part, because it has AM, FM, I think the antenna needs to be a little bit longer or have a better antenna on it because it will pick up, but you almost have to have it sitting in, in like the perfect spot to pick up um, the... Um, and like FM radio. Uh, the wireless, or not wireless, you could get wireless. Uh, the microphone deal that you can get to talk um, has different ways you can kind of EQ that. Um, so that's what makes me think, why can't we EQ our speakers? You can EQ your microphone, but you can't EQ your speakers. Follow me? Um, but so far they're holding up, I haven't blown anything. I've cranked these a couple times for some uh, movies. Uh, sometimes I listen to music while I'm cleaning house or something like that. So uh, yeah, it's really good. Um, but that's pretty much most of the questions that I've had on this is that that optical port was having problems with the deal. So you might check the connection with your TV, make sure you're pushed in all the way, make sure the optical cable is in the correct way. I think there's two ways it'll go in, but I think only one way is the correct way. Uh, make sure it's pushed in at the box. Make sure you have a good optical cord. Do not buy cheap optical cords. Um, you're, you can buy really, really nice speakers to 
Whew. DJ with, but if your cables are crap, your speakers are going to sound like crap. So always go with better cables. Uh, I went with a very, I think I paid 20 some dollars for my um, optical cable and I got a long one. I did get it braided so kitty cats won't chew on it. Uh, so if you have kitty cats, always think, hey, I need something that's braided to make it harder for the cats to chew through it, uh, which the cats can't really get back behind uh, this all a whole lot so yeah but anyway um i think that's going to wrap up this final review of the rockville hts i believe it is 56 home theater system comes with five speakers a subwoofer uh, remote control everything you need to hook it up mounting brackets screws all that good stuff um, if you guys continue to have questions, please drop them in the comment section below. I will answer them uh, to the best of my knowledge as can. But, uh, you know, if, if there's something going on technical where you're having power problems or your speakers are not working, I can't help you. You need to contact Rockville and let them walk you through the uh, process of getting replacement parts or warranty parts. Because there is a warranty on this. I think this final review and answering your questions but uh, yeah, so anyway, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed, drop the comments. I know I keep saying that, but um, another thing you could do, if you guys wanna support me, have a merch channel. I'll put the link to that in the description. Go purchase some merch um, because that helps me, helps me with uh, things to get to make the channel that much better. Uh, we've got a little something over there. I might give you all a sneak peek coming up soon. So be checking out the uh, channel for a sneak peek i will be doing a review on that uh kind of a review kind of just a what i got but we're going to be upgrading some stuff we're going to be upgrading the ram it has eight gigs of ram in it right now which is doing pretty good but i think we're going to upgrade it to 32 so anyway uh thanks for watching guys hope you have a wonderful rest of your week we have one more video coming out this week i'm pushing three videos this week just because i've got so much going on over the weekend and i'm trying to get i've got lots of product reviews we've got like seven eight more things coming this week so lots of product reviews coming lots of awesome stuff stay tuned thanks for watching guys god bless and we will see you in the next one this has been a thin red line production